Hello, I'm Duncan Farrington from Bottom Farm Hargrave in Northamptonshire. I'm a leaf demonstration farmer and today we're going to show you some footage of how we constructed our bio bed. Here we are at Bottom Farm, it is the bottom of our village and I'm standing right next to me on the right here is a watercourse that runs past the farmyard and at the nearest point from the farmyard to the watercourse is um, less than 10 metres. The watercourse runs past the farmyard and behind the camera so we are surrounded by water. What this means is that um, we have to take pollution issues very seriously, we have to mitigate um, any um, risks or try and mitigate any risk of causing a pollution incident and that's why we're going to be looking at creating a new bio bed, bio bed and sprayer filling area on the farm. So here I am, I'm standing on what is our current sprayer filling area. You can see it's rather muddy. Um, we built it around 10 years ago with hardcore and it's on a, a plastic membrane and it's sloping gently into our bio bed, existing bio bed, which is more of a sump to get any water that falls here or any pesticides that fall here to go into the, the drain there or into the sump there. It's sort of okay but under new regulations and with us being next to a watercourse this is far from ideal so what we actually want to do is take this and improve it. Before I could start any of the construction, first of all, I um, had to do some research. Um, research uh, revolved around uh, primarily or initially uh, internet based. So looking at other examples of best practice, ideas that are out there, looking at um, manuals and uh, advice on, online of how to build and construct a bio bed or bio filter and how to um, cope with the sprayer washings and filling areas. Then after doing that, I involved uh, the catchment sensitive farming, our local advisor on that. So I made contact. Uh, she came out and was very helpful. And just to see whether a project like this was first of all in the catchment for our river area, and if it was a, a grant qualifying project. Once we um, discussed that and it was eligible for a potential grant, at that stage then we went and with the catchment sensitive officer we involved ADAS and ADAS came out and again they gave more expert advice on the specific designs and criterias of what we were wanting to do and by now um, it was I was formulating a plan for an offset bio bed and we needed to calculate such things as annual rainfall, size of the sprayer, the amount of applications of uh, pesticides throughout the year so we could get the, the sizing of the bio bed and the filling area correct and compatible. As uh, the research progressed it became apparent I was or this project was eligible for a catchment sensitive farming capital grant scheme um, so we progressed with that and then also alongside that I had to make sure that we were complying with the regulation. So with all the research complete um, shall we go and have a look at the plan we made ready to build from. ...is that we currently have a nice area of all contained but we're just going to improve this so we have a concrete sprayer filling area draining into a specifically built bio bed area right next to the chemical store we've got the spray can washing container and a soft water um, supply and it will make a complete unit. Um, a few months later, once the grant application was um, successful and approved, I could go ahead and start ordering the materials and we were ready to crack on and actually build the project. Okay, so the bio bed um, is going well, I'd say. Um, we've had three guys on it for three days and now we've got the concrete laid, the bio bed hole dug and uh, one more day should finish it off. First of all, with the concrete, if you... Uh, I don't know whether you can see, but we've got a fall all the way down to a drain in the corner here. Um, we've laid six inches of concrete reinforced on a plastic liner and we've floated it off. We, we've got to give it one more float and then we'll give it a very light brushing. And what we've done, we've built a bund all the way around and I wanted to do it while the, uh, while we were pouring the initial concrete so that it all ties in and dries together so we don't get a crack because if we have cracks that's a potential area where uh, water could leak out. Over on my left we finished digging this out yesterday it is um, the middle of, or the third week of January and it's been wet so hence there's water in there. So the plan is that tomorrow we will pump the water out 
We will tidy up this end here once uh, we take the road forms away. We've got a, a fleece that we'll put on first, then we'll put the, um, the plastic liner in. The reason you put a fleece down is just in case there's any stones, it, it protects it, but looking at it, it's good, clean, waterproof clay, so maybe the fleece was a bit of an overkill. But we'll get that in tomorrow, and then we will start putting the um, straw mix in straight away, because if water rises up through the ground, I want some weight in there as soon as we get the liner in to hold it down. It's going to be lined with a waterproof membrane so that we keep any liquid in the bio bed without it draining into the soil around it. And it's going to be filled with a mix of 25% compost, 25% topsoil and 50% straw, all mixed up to create an area high in organic matter, high in bacteria growing and that bacteria and the organic matter will be the filter to break down any pesticides. The bio bed is now complete. The sprayer washings come into the system, they percolate down through the layer of turf on top, under which we have this mix of 50% straw, a quarter compost and another quarter of topsoil all mixed together so we've got a high organic content. This is what's going to act as a filter and break down any pesticides. The water going through the filter eventually ends up in a sump that we've placed in the bio bed, in the bottom of which we've got a submersible pump and as the water level rises, the pump occasionally it cuts in, switches on and it's taking that cleaned filtered water and it then pumps that further through another trickle irrigation system and the water gently percolates over an area of vegetation down into the ground and eventually ending up as clean filtered water going back into the water course. Now that the project's complete, um, I, I think that it's going to greatly improve the efficiency of how we do the sprayer filling um, one with the uh, soft water that we have here, the chemical store that was already here, all in an area with a uh, concrete base to fill from, so we're going to reduce trips and falls, and uh, adjacent to the bio bed, which is then going to reduce any risks of uh, negative impacts on the water quality and hopefully maintain or improve the water quality that goes into our catchment.